Hello there, and welcome to Sleepy Seedlings, a bedtime podcast with trees. I'm Sleepy, and I will be your guide on this restful journey. Each episode of this podcast centers around a different tree. I'm going to tell you all about the tree about its beautiful characteristic traits, its history and mythology, some poetry that its essence has inspired, its relationship to the broader ecosystem, and its relationship to humankind. As I do so, we will imagine ourselves below the tree, viewing the activity that surrounds it and embracing our imaginations. If your mind wanders, just allow it to. This is, of course, how we drift off to sleep. But if you find yourself starting to worry, you can always return to my voice and our tree. Tonight, we'll be getting to know the majestic oak tree, a symbol of strength, resilience, and wisdom. But whilst a grand old oak symbolizes all of these things, as the Canadian philosopher Matshona Dilewayu once said, an oak tree is a daily reminder that great things often have small beginnings. If you haven't already, set your sleep timer for the end of this podcast so nothing needs to distract you again as you head off to dreamland. As we prepare to embark on this adventure, I invite you to find a comfortable position to let go of the day's worries and to allow yourself to be transported to the edge of a serene forest. Imagine yourself sitting against the grand trunk of an oak tree. Just like the tree, we are going to breathe deeply in and out. In and out. With each breath, you are becoming more relaxed, more in tune with the oak's tranquility. Now focus on your body, on the soft surface of your bed. Just as the oak's roots delve deep intertwining with the mysteries of the earth. So too are you connected to the intricate fabric of existence. Each of us, a fundamental part of nature, intertwined in the grand tapestry of life. Your legs, strong and steady, having carried you through your day, echo the stability of the oak's sprawling roots. These roots, which ancient cultures believed held the very secrets of the world, pulling life from the hidden underground springs, binding the tree and earth in a timeless embrace. Bring your attention now to your torso, the core of your being, which mirrors the robust trunk of the oak. A trunk that has stood resilient against countless storms, wearing its textured bark like a cape of memories. In history, poets and philosophers have marveled at its girth seeing in its rings the wisdom of ages, 
and the stories of countless suns and moons. And your arms, which have embraced, worked and reached out, reflect the expansive boughs of the oak. Branches that have offered shelter to weary travellers, witnessed whispered secrets under moonlit nights, and served as the playground for generations of children and wildlife alike. And finally, your head, the seat of your dreams and imagination. Let it soar just as the oak's highest branches reach out towards the sky, brushing against the soft underbelly of clouds, flirting with stars and basking in the golden evening hue of the sun. So as you lay there, picture the mighty oak standing tall above you, its silhouette etched against the horizon. Feel its branches adorned with a lush canopy of leaves gently swaying in the breeze each leaf a whispering storyteller, reciting tales of old and beckoning you into a realm of dreams and ancient wonder. Amidst the forest's choir, the oak asserts its distinctive tune. Broad and burly, its trunk wears deep, fissured bark like the wrinkles of an elder every crevice a testament to its venerable age. Its limbs, sturdy and strong, bear distinctive lobed leaves that turn a kaleidoscope of colours from the lively greens of spring to the russets and golds of autumn's embrace. And by its leaves, the oak's acorns, small and capped with rough, bowl-like tops, Nature's treasure chests, holding the promise of future forests within. They scatter beneath, a favoured prize for woodland creatures, ensuring life cycle dances on. Above, its branches sprawl, often twisting and turning in rugged patterns. Each a story of storms weathered, and sunny days cherished. While other trees may stand tall and straight, the oak is unafraid to bend, to reach, to curve in its pursuit of the sun. Roots that meander deep and wide anchor this titan, drawing sustenance and weaving a network of tales with the earth below. Such is the oak, a symbol of endurance, of history, a sentinel that watches over the woodlands with a wisdom that only centuries can bestow. Stately and majestic, the oak tree has earned a place of honour in the chronicles of history and mythology. Think of ancient Greece, where the tree was a sacred whisper, especially dear to Zeus, the god of sky and thunder. Beneath its sprawling canopy, priests believed that the rustling of its leaves carried messages from Zeus. There's a moment, perhaps, where the canopy dances under the glow of lightning and the earth softly resonates with Zeus's distant thunder. Yet beneath our oak, there seems to be a haven, a quiet place away from the storms further, enveloping us in tranquil serenity. In the mist-covered lands of ancient Celtic territories, 
the oak stood as something of profound spiritual significance. For the Druids, the learned class among the Celts, these trees weren't just timber or shade, but revered sanctuaries of knowledge and wisdom. Sacred groves, often dominated by mighty oaks, were chosen as the sites for rituals and ceremonies, believed to be places where the veil between the physical world and the realm of spirits was thin. It was thought that druids, with their deep connection to nature, could commune with the trees, drawing insights and prophecies from their whispers. The word druid itself is believed to be derived from the Celtic word for oak, doer, linking their identity intrinsically with this majestic tree. In these groves, beneath the vast canopy of the oak, the druids sought guidance from the spirits, celebrated the cycles of nature, and passed down age-old wisdom to new generations. Every acorn was a symbol of potential and rebirth, and every rustle of its leaves, perhaps a message from the ancestors. The ancient Celts saw the oak not just as a tree, but as a bridge between worlds, grounding them to the earth, or connecting them to the mysteries of the cosmos. From such tales, one might gather that across times and lands, the oak resonates with the themes of strength, resilience and wisdom. Virtues that we can all embrace a little more fully in our own lives. As we nestle under the imagined branches of our oak, let's turn to the words of poets, those who have drawn inspiration from this mighty tree across the ages. Poetry, like the rustling of leaves in the wind, speaks directly to the soul, connecting us with the profound beauty of nature. In our journey through the world of poetry and the oak, we again encounter voices from many eras and lands, all speaking to the profound connection of human beings and the tree. One such voice from the 19th century is that of the American poet George Pope Morris. His words echo with an impassioned plea, one that transcends time, urging us to consider the deep roots and stories that trees bear. Tonight, I bring you his moving poem, titled, Woodman, Spear That Tree. Woodman, spare that tree, touch not a single bough. In youth, it sheltered me, and I'll protect it now. Twas my forefather's hand that placed it near his cot. There, woodman, let it stand. Thy axe shall harm it not. That old familiar tree whose glory and renown are spread o'er land and sea. And wouldst thou hew it down? Woodman, forbear thy stroke. Cut not its earthbound ties. O oh, spare that aged oak, now towering to the skies. When but an idle boy I sought its grateful shade. In all their gushing joy, 
Here too my sisters played. My mother kissed me here. My father pressed my hand. Forgive this foolish tear, but let that old oak stand. My heartstrings round thee cling, close as thy bark, old friend. Here shall the wild birds sing, and still thy branches bend. Old tree, the storm still brave, and woodman, leave the spot. While I've a hand to save, thy axe shall hurt it not. George Pope Morris's words, though penned nearly two centuries ago, resonate just as deeply today. Each tree stands as a testament to the myriad moments, memories and histories is as silently witnessed. Woodman, spear that tree, is not just an appeal for one tree, but a universal cry for recognising the intrinsic value of all of our arboreal friends. The poetry of the oak tree weaves a timeless thread, connecting us with generations past and reminding us of the enduring beauty of nature. So as we sit under our imagined oak, let these verses seep into our hearts and minds, grounding us in a sense of deep serenity and oneness with the natural world. With over 600 species of oak tree spread across the globe, the variety is astounding. Known as Quercus in Latin, some oaks can live for over a thousand years, standing as silent sentinels, witnessing the passage of time. As you lie there, imagine the stories our oak could tell if it could speak. Stories of sunrises and sunsets, of seasons changing, of countless creatures that have found shelter in its branches and the soft words of lovers who have sat below its boughs. The oak tree is an integral part of its ecosystem, supporting a diverse array of creatures. You can see a squirrel scampering along a branch an owl nesting in a hollow trunk, or a caterpillar munching on a leaf. Each creature playing its part in the intricate web of life, all centred around our majestic oak. The acorns produced by the oak are a crucial food source for many animals. Can you picture an acorn? Its smooth shell, its beautifully distinct shape. Think of holding it in your hand. What memories does it bring you? And it's not just the acorns. The oak's leaves, bark and roots each play a crucial role in sustaining life during the day, the oak's leaves absorb sunlight and convert it into food energy through photosynthesis. This process also releases oxygen, a byproduct essential to most life on Earth. Oak leaves contain tannins, which have a bitter taste to deter animals from eating them. But whilst this might seem like a way they don't support life, it's all part of the balance of nature. The tannins are an important part of the leaves' role when they fall into nearby streams. 
they can affect the acidity of the water and thus play a role in the aquatic ecosystem, influencing the types of organisms that can live there. So as we lie under our oak, we can appreciate the harmonious balance that epitomizes nature. But our oak has not just provided for the animals. It has also played a significant role in human history. Its strong, durable wood has been used in construction, shipbuilding, and making furniture. Archaeologists have found evidence of oak being used as a building material as early as nearly 6,000 years ago. In England, there is an ancient trackway known as the Sweet Track, built around 3,800 BC, which primarily was made of oak planks. Think of yourself walking along this beautiful old road. Where are you going? Can you imagine the light on your face? Or picture an old ship battling the roaring waves, its hull crafted from the resilient wood of our oak. Or upon this ship, a meticulously carved table, the grain of the oak wood clear beneath the craftsman's skilled hands. Think of running your fingers along the grain and the knots of this old wood, gently worn by years of meetings between friends. Each piece tells a story, a tale of man and nature working as one. Acorns too were once a staple in the human diet, ground into flour or used to feed livestock. You can imagine a humble family gathering acorns together, their faces reflecting the simple joys of life. Or a farmer, a selection of acorns in his rugged hands, ready to feed his animals. Now picture a tiny acorn falling from the tree, burrowing into the soft earth, ready for a long winter's sleep. As the seasons change, it sprouts, emerging from the earth as a tiny seedling. Can you see it? Its slender stem its tiny leaves. With each passing year, it grows, gradually becoming a mighty oak, just like the one under which we lie. Can you see the creatures it shelters? The birds nesting in its branches the insects scurrying along its trunk, the small mammals feasting on its acorns. Picture their lives, their tiny adventures. And as we weave this tale, let it lull you further into relaxation and into a realm of gentle dreams. Picture the sun setting, casting long shadows through the gentle leaves of our tree, which dance gracefully on the forest floor. Our oak stands strong, bathed in the soft glow. The sounds of the forest 
are slowing. The creatures are preparing for the night. And here we are, under our oak, safe, peaceful, and ready to welcome sleep. But as we say goodbye to our oak, remember the qualities it embodies. Strength, resilience, and wisdom. Carry these with you into your dreams and into your waking life. And as we part, May the whispering woods guide you into a restful slumber. I will see you next time for another enchanting adventure. But until then, dream of mighty trees. Wake refreshed, ready to face a new day just like our forest at dawn. Let it give you the strength to take on the world tomorrow. Just like our beautiful oak tree, you are strong and steadfast, and you are perfect just the way that you are. Sleep well my dear listener.